Let's focus on India for a short while. It's estimated that nearly 300 million people living in rural areas in India are still using kerosene and wood-fired stoves for cooking. Not only is it harmful for the environment, but also exposes the people living in these houses to high levels of toxic pollutants. Many individuals and companies are experimenting with cleaner technologies when it comes to cooking stoves. And Weon's Johan Castell caught up with an Australian innovator, Russell Collins, who has come up with a better way of heating and cooking. Take a look. I've come to Sethan village, which is located about an hour's drive away from Manali at 2,780 meters altitude. Now, this is a really small town of only 15 to 16 houses, but I've come here to meet with Russell Collins, who have found innovative ways to develop the traditional chulha stove. And he has uh, managed to build a new one which uh, uses uh, significantly more of the energy inside wood. And he's thus able to reduce chances of deforestation and to also improve people's health in the area. So we're going to go have a look at what stoves he's built. Hey, Russell. Hey, hi, uh -huh. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Yeah. So, what are they saying? That where there's smoke, there's fire, but where there's fire, there's not always smoke? Or? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what we're working on here is uh, ways of using um, smokeless technology. And right. by that, what I mean is that we have developed or we're um, enhancing technology that burns the smoke itself. Hmm. So, we have a fire, we make smoke, and then we burn the smoke. Right. And now, how do, you, how do you accomplish doing that? Basically. So the technology is open source. It's been mm. around for a long time. It's called Rocket Stove Technology. Okay. And uh, we've just been innovating on two different ways of using that. One way uh, where for cooking specifically, where we're just using clay. Right. And the idea is that we can teach people how to make their own smokeless cook stoves right. just using the materials that they can find in their own village, their own right. backyard, in the fields. So we have clay, we have a bit of grass or bulsa, it's right. called, and some kind of biomatter, right. uh, like sawdust or puffed mm. grains, um, and we mix those three things together. Puffed grains even, you can, yeah, yeah, you can throw puffed in there. Grains. Yeah, we've yeah. been using puffed rice, is really good. Wow. In the and uh, this, because what happens is we mix it in the clay, right. we fire it up, get it really hot, and those little things burn out. Right. And what you're left with is clay that insulates, because it's got little pockets of air in the clay. Right. And pockets of air is what makes insulation. Okay. And by insulating, it traps the heat. The, the heat increases right. to the point where the smoke burns. Okay. It's really simple. So there's like a switch there, and then you combust the, the smoke, and then you avoid getting the smoke as an exhaust from this. Exactly. From so the there's stove. two benefits. The first is, right. of course, we burn the smoke, which means that we get rid of it, so you're not breathing it. Firstly, and then secondly, right. because it's an energy source, mm. we're getting additional heat. So generally mm. speaking, we can say we can halve the wood input or dung or whatever the biomass is. Right. We can halve it for the same amount of heat that they would normally get using a traditional wow. chuller. As you would probably know, household right. air pollution is a major problem right. uh, in various parts of the world and in particular in India. Right. And uh, so we're really trying to address that with a solution that won't cost the end user any, any money up front. Right. So this, it becomes a lot about education then, and to teach people how, how can they build this themselves, basically. Exactly. So we're not uh, selling a product mm. as such. We, we're training people how to do it for themselves right. for the cooking application. And then the other ca application for the technology is for heating in the Himalayas. And that's where we've, right. uh, over here, we've got our right. Himalayan rocket stove. So this is your latest enterprise. It's the same technology inside the box, right. but it's, this is primarily for heating. Ooh. So people put the wood in the front like a traditional bukkari or a chula, okay. and it burns. Yeah, you just open the door, and wood inside, it burns in the front section, yep. and then it gets drawn into an insulated tube that's inside this box, yep. and we're burning the smoke and trapping the heat. So we're, we're trying to get the maximum amount of heat into the room right. uh, by doing it inside this metal box. So that would be primarily for the Himalayas where you're focusing on this, where it's really cold in the winter and exactly, it's for heating. Yeah. So in the Himalayas where people are typically burning wood for six months of the year yeah. to stay warm, uh, the idea is that with this device they will use approximately half the amount of wood. So I hope we'll be seeing these uh, all around, the, all around the, the mountain areas of the country soon then. Yes, yeah. in fact we're even getting yeah. requests from other parts of the world now oh, really? for this technology because it actually significantly reduces the smoke and the black carbon output. Right. So we're getting, uh, especially in the mountains where yeah. uh, snow melt is exacerbated by yeah. uh, this black carbon particulate matter, we're reducing uh, 
um, but quite a massive amount. Like right. Really well, that's brilliant. So let's go and have a look at uh, a place where this thing has been put in into someone's home and see how right, it looks yeah, like in action. Yeah. Yeah. Working cool. Right. Awesome. Yeah, so, out of all the places you could try this, why did you decide to do it here well, in the middle of nowhere? Uh, Tenzin's from this village, so okay. we had a natural connection here. Right. And um, just by chance, we found out that uh, Seton has fantastic clay. So uh, most places have some kind of clay, but right. uh, Seton has like really good quality pottery clay. It's so these are two two different stoves. And now, what's the difference of the regular one and your stove? Right. So traditional chula here on the left, and as you can see, you just basically put wood in there, yeah. burn it, and all of the smoke just goes and hangs in the room. Right. Right. So with our uh, modified chula, we can say on the right, we've set it up with, uh, you can see a taller tube at the back yeah. and a little wood feed at the front. So it's smaller wood feed because you mm. don't need as much wood. And what happens is through natural uh, convection effect, the smoke gets drawn into that tube. Mm. We spin it to create turbulence. There's a little airflow through that pipe and we mix mm. in oxygen. And we 